Welcome everyone to a long-awaited video. It's been a while and for that I apologize. It's been a bit of a crazy year, but to wrap up the year, I thought I'd talk to you about my favorite pens of 2021. I've definitely been using pens a lot this year. If you follow my Instagram, I've tried to start ramping up my activity there and I've been having a lot of fun, but haven't had as much time to create videos for various reasons. But anyways, Let's not get into that, let's get into the pens. So in this case, which I got at the 2021 San Francisco International Pen Show, I have ooh, 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 my five favorite pens of this year. So in no particular order, let's just jump into it. Let's get started. So the first pen is this guy right here. This is the Pelican 100N fountain pen, and I picked it up on eBay last year, I believe in 2020, during the pandemic, when it well, when we were all locked inside, and it is a beautiful pen. Um, I bought it unrestored, and it still works. The seal, it's a plastic seal, it's not a cork seal, so it didn't need repair, it works perfectly fine, and the nib is just beautiful. It's such a joy to write with. If you have seen on my Instagram, I've been posting with it a lot just because, oh, oh, it's a flex nib. It's got a beautiful ebonite feed, perfect flow. Everything you could want in a vintage pen that you could still use every day. Because it's also a piston filler, which you don't see a lot in pens this old. This, I think this came out in the hmm, late 40s, early 50s. In the last few years of the 100 ends production because it has the uh, plastic seal and then the green ink window, which you can... It's, it's a great ink window. I love huge ink windows. They're just, they're cool. It's got a beautiful like green bend right here. Um, and yeah, it's just an amazing little pen. And it is a little pen. It's like a, not quite a pocket pen, but uh, definitely small, but posts securely. And it's a beautiful pen like that. The next pen <laughs> was a bit of a lucky find in um, February or March of this year is when I found this pen and I pounced on it. And I'm very thankful I did. I've done a review of it on this channel before. It's the Conan Minimaliska fountain pen. Although you may notice it's gotten a bit of an upgrade. It now has a Sailor uh, 1911 21 karat nib on it, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and I've been wanting to do that for a long time. I finally found the pen for it and I got the uh, flexible nib what is it called is it flexible nib feeds um whatever the company that does the little converter feeds so you can put different nibs in it i got that all done and now it's, it's a beautiful pen loved right with it of course it's got huge in capacity just look at that if you want to know more about the pen please do check out my review of it needless to say i'm a fan and uh, I hope Conid starts producing pens again soon. Now, the third pen is a bit, it has a bit of a special meaning, just in the fact that it is this pen, a Franklin Christoph 31, and it's a, a special colorway, one of their prototype finishes that they bring to pen shows. And this is a pen that I got at the 2021 San Francisco pen show. And that, of course, means a lot to me because. It was the first pen show that I got to attend since 2019, since before COVID. And for that, uh, it made me really happy to get this. I got to talk to a lot of good people at that show. If I, if I saw you, uh, I hope uh, we said hi. And if not, hopefully we'll meet next year. So yeah, love the San Francisco pen show. Hopefully I'll go to more pen shows in the future. And this was a great way to remember it. It also has a 18 karat gold Edison Yobo, Edison branded Yobo, um, a medium nib, I believe. Um, just a random nib I put in there. I figured I might as well put, put it to good use in here instead of have it laying around. So yeah, that was a good one. And a lot of good memories tied with that pen. Now for the fourth pen, it is this one. Uh, and I've had this, I've had this since before COVID. Um, I bought this pen, uh, let's see, I think in the winter before COVID, I got it my first quarter of freshman year in, in college, which is pretty crazy to think about. 
but it's a Conklin Durograph Elements water. Uh, the whole Elements series I, I really enjoyed, but especially this water finish is just, I, I really, I really like it. It reminds me of the uh, Blue Luchin's celluloid that is in Omos pens. But the reason why this is on here is because with a return to in-person instruction in, in college, I can't really be using like <laughs> super crazy expensive pens that I'm worried about losing. And this was a mainstay in my everyday carry for school this year uh, as we returned to in-person classes last fall. And it's served me really well. I I honestly think the Durograph is still an underrated pen. It's just, it's really solid construction. And there were nib issues in the past with Konkan pens, but now that they use Yovo nibs, um, I really do recommend them highly. Uh, I've gotten stuff from Yaffa for free to show off in the past, but this is not that pen. I bought this one with my own money, and I, I do love this pen. So I know some of these finishes you can find on sale somewhere, and if you find it at a good price, honestly, I would highly recommend it. It's just a great beat around pen. You can fill it up with whatever ink you want. I have a sheening ink in here right now, as you'll see. But you can put crazy inks in here. You won't have to worry about it like you do with some of the more expensive pens. And yeah, it's it's served me well this year. And for that, it's in my top five pens. Now, the last entry on this list is a surprising one for me because I had this list planned out in my head and this pen was not on it because this pen is a, a late entry, a last minute slide in onto the list. Um, but it is this pen, a Noodler's Triple Tail. And it is in a Hudson Bay finish, I believe is what it's called with all the other pens, but it was a limited release for the Commonwealth Pen Show, unfortunately. I did not attend the Commonwealth Pen Show, but Van S Pens, had these limited editions on their website uh, after the show finished and I saw it and I was just like I would love to have this pen it's a super cool finish it's a beautiful color um, sort of reminds me of the uh, Omos Ojiva Vision uh, series or the Omos Ojiva cocktail series with a sort of transparent colored resin uh, this one <laughs> it, is, it, it has the Noodler smell because it's not uh, the regular triple tail, because normally the triple tail is only in a clear finish uh, that is supposed to not have the noodlers, uh, what is it, like cotton butyrate smell. But this one is a special edition. It's the only uh, triple tail that's not in clear is in this color. I don't know how many were produced, but I just saw it. I'd wanted to have a triple tail for, the while, for a while just to try it out because music nibs are really interesting. Uh, and I really wanted to find one that was uh, suitable for sort of my uh, use case, which is uh, cool flex nibs. <laughs> and this absolutely fits that because, as you can see, hopefully uh, the camera will focus. Um, but it's a it's a, a music nib. Uh, it doesn't look like it's, it wants to focus, but that's okay. I'll try and put it in some pictures. Uh, and if not, you can always look on my Instagram. <laughs> It's, it's just, it's a great nib. It flexes beautifully and the feet actually keeps up. I didn't have to tinker at all with this pen. I just used it for a little bit. Um, and it was a little okay, like a little shaky in the beginning, but once it like uh, broke itself in, now it's it's faultless, I would say. Um, and honestly, I would, I would highly recommend this pen if you can find it. It's got the standard um, filler that's common with the Ahab and the Neponset. I believe this is sort of the replacement for the Neponset, and I really hope they come out with more colors of this triple tail in the future because honestly this is a, a great pen. I will probably do a review of it soon. I'll try and get back in, into doing more reviews in the near future. We'll see how good it is because uh, this is on a new phone and I actually have storage space on this phone so I can actually record videos with it. Um, but yeah, I would love to see more colors of this in the future because this, honestly, is probably, I think, the best pen by far in the Noodler's lineup. And it is the last entry in the top five pens for me of this year. So, there we go. Those are my top five pens. And this case is a, uh, I believe is a D. Charles leather case. Normally I don't do leather, but 
um, I saw this at the San Francisco show and I just had to had to have it. It was a great price too. And it's a, a luxurious case. I have some cheaper cases, um, but this is more of a fancy case that I can keep my, my fancy pens in. So with that in mind, uh, let's get into some writing samples. All right. I am currently on a vacation for New Year's, so I hope you'll forgive the handheld sort of setup. But anyways, let's get started with this. This is the Pelican 100N fountain pen. And the ink is Diamond Aurora Borealis. And yeah, this is a great pen. Uh, I mean, it's got a beautiful, flexible nib. Not like a wet noodle or anything, but just enough flex to make things exciting. And the feet always keeps up like a charm. So that is the 100N. Next, we have this pen, which is the... Oh, it's been... It's been sitting out for a while. The, Conid, oh, come on phone, focus. Conid Minimalistica, and it has a, uh, excuse me, 21 carat Sailor Medium. And the ink is Mont Blanc Petrol Blue. It's actually around the world in 80 days blue, but that's a whole controversy. They're actually the same ink. So yeah, still love this pen. Love it even more with this nib. And yeah, I can't wait for Kony to come back. I hope Kony comes back. <laughs> now we have the Franklin Christoph Model 31 with that awesome gold nib. And it's got an 18K. I do think this is a gold medium nib. And the ink is actually a limited, another limited edition from that Commonwealth Pen Show, I believe. Newler's 1984, and this is version 2 out of 3. It's a great uh, sort of purple-gray ink. The first one was a muted brown, and I really wanted to pick that one up. But I couldn't get my hands on it. I was too late. But I got this one, and I'm happy about it. And yeah, this is another lovely pen. Used it a lot this year. And yeah, that is number 3 on this list. It's not in the order of whether I like it or not, it's just the third one. <laughs> Next up, we have this. The Conklin Durograph Elements Water. That's quite the name. <laughs> Water. And it has a medium nib. Medium steel Yovo nib. And the ink is Diamine Maureen, which is a, a really nice sheening ink from Colt Pens. It really only sheens when it dries, so you can't really see it now. But it is a great ink, and if you're interested, definitely check it out. Yeah, great pen. It's been lovely to use this year, and yeah, it's a beautiful pen as well. And finally, with the buzzer beater of sorts, this entry, the Noodler's Triple Tail. This has really been a lot of fun to play around with. Um, here you can see, hopefully, focus. Uh, we can zoom in. 
yeah, that music nib is really cool. So, this is the Noodlers Triple Tail. I do hope my camera is doing an okay job at focusing. I'm still getting used to it. Um, but yeah, and this ink is actually an ink I picked up yesterday, which is Noodlers Carmel by the Sea. Uh, it's a, an exclusive ink to Bittners, well, formerly Bittners. Now it's just the pleasure of writing. Uh, a great little store in Carmel. And yeah, this pen has been amazing to use. And here's what you're probably winning for. That is some serious flex. It really gets the job done. And it, it the feed has a, does a great job of keeping up too. Just a tiny little railroad right there. And yeah, it's a great pen and absolutely worthy of this list. It's definitely been one of my favorite pens this year, even though I've only had it for a few weeks. Maybe in the honeymoon phase, but I think it's definitely worth it to include it on this list. So, there we go. You can definitely see I sort of have a type for pens. I love blues and greens and everything like that. Same with the inks as well. But these have been the pens I've really been having a lot of fun with this year, and they've meant a lot to me, and you have all meant a lot to me too. I'm sorry about not uploading for so long, but I'll get back into it in the future. And yeah. Thank you very much for watching this little video. I hope you enjoy, and yeah, have a wonderful new year. Bye.